So at that time I, I actually uh, uh, sold my house, um, downgraded and uh, raised some money to open my own computer shop. Well basically it was, it was, it was a computer shop mainly selling software and that was called Just Micro in Sheffield which was on Carver Street. So uh, that was opened in 1983 and uh, in a very short time I began to realise that there, there were bigger opportunities than just, just selling software. That's not to say that Just Micro wasn't successful, it was very successful. And if you talk to anybody in their sort of 30s around Sheffield, they probably spent time in there when they should have been at school. Um, it, was in those, it was in those early days where I, got, I was exposed to a lot of the young kids and students around Sheffield who used to come into the, into the shop and they put their demos on the machines because you always let, let people use the machines. And we started chatting to various, uh, various kids and uh, talking about what their aspirations were, etc. And we identified a few individuals that uh, um, we could possibly look to employ and start developing our own product. And one of those, one of those individuals was uh, Peter Harrop, uh, who was the original designer of uh, Wanted Monty Mole. And everything really started from that point. Once we got a few, a few employees going, um, Tony Crowther came on board and the sort of the company built and built and built over the years then. Um, it was about 1986 um, when that business uh, um, got involved with uh, a gentleman called Jeff Brown who owned uh, a company called Centersoft down in Tipton near Birmingham. And, uh, I was using I was using Centersoft as a distribution company. Um, they'd, they'd obviously got the US Gold label at that time as well. And Jeff bought into the business, and uh, we be, actually became part of the Center Gold Group at that point. Started opening new offices. We had offices in uh, Lincoln, Derby, which ended up being the core core design office, um, Sheffield, um, Birmingham. So the, the, the business was growing and we were, we were on, a, on a roll at that point. Massively exciting times in the video game industry. Um, you know, everything was new because we were sort of making it up as we went along. Well, not just us, the, you know, anybody involved in the industry at that time.